you know we've been doing authentic connection that's been the last cut like three i think this time we're going to start off with authentic ownership because all i do now i just look around the world and go man what is what's going on in the world right now like that is a topic that i think that a lot of people can relate to and when i say authentic ownership i'm talking about ownership in the regards of taking responsibility and accountability for who not just who you are but for where you are in life in this moment you know what i mean because so many people for example like if you if you're the uh, parent if you're a father let's say in our case we're fathers and your house isn't right instead of going well you know <laughs> my wife wasn't who she you know if she would get her act together then we could have this thing straight and or if my kids were stop acting up and stop misbehaving and all that is taking ownership of it. it's like no man if your house ain't right that's on you <laughs> you know what i mean like when are you going to start taking cre taking the responsibility for what is wrong in your world because i think that watch yourself i don't think enough people do that now man there used to be a time where when things went south people would step up and go man that's on me taking to me that's what ownership is and i even use it as an example of my business I have people that work for me, right? I send guys out to go do stuff. And if customers call me and go, hey man, you know, he's not cleaning the pool the way that you did. He's not doing the work the way that you did it. We want you to come back. I don't tell them, oh, well, you know, I did what I could with him and he should be better. That way or this way. It's cool too, right here. Um, instead, what I say is, hey, I trained him. So if he's not doing the job right, that's on me. That's not on him. You know what I mean? That's ownership, dude. And so, of course, the first thing I transfer that <clears throat> to is biblically, you know, how, how, can, how can I give biblical examples of that? And the first two people that I thought of, like God placed it on my heart immediately, man, Joseph and Daniel. Like both of those guys, if it, besides Jesus, Joseph and Daniel, the only two guys in the Bible that nothing negative is said about them nothing like read through both the stories there's not a single thing negative about them and the second thing is this both of those guys took ownership of every single area that they were in like every area and they rose to the top because they didn't make excuses taking ownership of of where you are in your world you know what i mean and we'll talk about it because joseph went from the pit to the palace dude you know what i mean and when he was in the pit it read the story of joseph he never complains like his brothers threw him in the pit and then sold him he never ever one time in the bible says well man if i wouldn't have got thrown in that pit man and my brothers wouldn't have betrayed me and he never goes there then when he's in the palace working for potiphar potiphar's wife hits on him and continuously hits on him it, to the point where he refuses her so much that she goes and she says gets caught with his coat. She's got his coat. She's like, man, he, this guy tried to, he tra basically tried to rape me is what she tells Potiphar. And Potiphar throws him in the prison. And he never once says, dude, check your wife. <laughs> check your wife. She's the one, not me. He never does it. He just says, this is where I am. When he's in the, anyway, I'll get into the whole thing. I'll do the whole thing.